Welcome to a new JW Broadcasting monthly program. Here are some of the highlights for this month. Oh, no, no, hold the phone, stop the presses, set the balloon down, stop the train. Mr. Potato Head, you're not going to get away with this. It's as simple as that. Holy cow. There is something in this broadcast that Watchtower has done an absolute another F you to the Mira family in Rio Rancho, New Mexico. So we're going to exploit that first because there's something very appalling about what Watchtower is doing here. What is done by our brothers and congregations worldwide to assist those who are housebound or are physically limited in other ways? everybody <laughs> howdy oh my goodness Mikey's riled yeah you know what it just every month every broadcast they just keep handing stuff to us on a silver platter um, all of us in the XJW community are very well aware of what's going on in Rio Rancho and how the Melders lied to the Mira family um, it, it's really interesting how at this point Watchtower begins to brag about how much care and concern they give to people that are homebound yeah as long as you're a member that's the kind of care you perceivably get because there are some that I've talked to in the past that have been left out yeah well I know of a lot that needed you know care or something in the congregation even though they were in good standing the congregation just ignored them well what about us yeah remember you know when, when I got sick remember when you got sick we were homebound yeah. And who was it that came in and encouraged us? Was it the elders? Was it the ministerial servants? It was ones that they would consider, you know... Outcasts. Outcasts. That didn't fit the mold of JWism at the time. But, you know, there's a scripture that Watchtower always throws at the Jehovah Witness. And it's always misapplied. And that's James 4, 17. Because the way Watchtower applies this scripture is that once you become indoctrinated and you go from door to door preaching, you know, their brand of Christianity, that if you become weak and your field service begins to back off, they will throw this scripture at you, John 4, 17. Therefore, if one knows how to do what is right and yet does not do it, it is a sin for him. So Watchtower will always throw this scripture in your face at, if you stop going out from door to door, because you know that this is the right thing to do, because Jesus said, go therefore make disciples at Matthew 28. So Watchtower uses this scripture to show that it's a sin for you if you don't go out uh, preaching. But they always forget the context. And they here's, usually do. Yeah, and here's the context. Let's go up to verse 13, and I'm reading this from the New World Crap Translation. James 4.13 Come now, you who say, Today or tomorrow we will journey to this city and we'll spend a year there building the kingdom hall. Oh, excuse me. We'll spend a year there and we'll engage in business and make profits building kingdom halls. I mean, oh, excuse me. Excuse me. I, I, I just, I, I love the way the New World crap translation keeps throwing this stuff in there. Buying property. Do you see the context, Watchtower, Jehovah's Witnesses? Today or tomorrow we'll journey to this city and we'll spend a year there and we'll engage in business and make profits. Whereas you do not know what your life will be tomorrow, for you are a mist appearing for a little while and then disappearing. Instead, you ought to say, if Jehovah wills, we shall live and also do this or do that. But now you take pride in yourself, assuming brags. All such talk is pride of pride is wicked. Therefore, if one knows how to do what is right and yet does not do it, it is a sin for him. Do you understand, Watchtower, Jehovah's Witnesses? 
that this context has to do with business, not with the door-to-door -door preaching work. It has to do with making a profit. We're going to go to this city and build a kingdom hall. We're going to go to this city and build a kingdom Buy hall. Buy and sell property. We're going to get Jehovah's Witnesses to go knocking on the doors, and we're going to get them to fill our seats so people will donate. But yet, you're bragging on how your organization takes care of the needs of those who are homebound. You will spend money putting in little uh, TV cameras or whatnot so that the homebound can now view what's happening inside the Kingdom Hall. You also now will spend money helping those that are homebound so that they can answer during your, well, they call it a watchtower study, but it's, it's not a study. Because if you go outside what's written in the paragraph, you'll be chastised later for it. So it, it's not a study of the scriptures. It's an absolute indoctrination. But the travesty of this broadcast and this particular point is, is that you're bragging on how you will help your own members. And you can't even keep your own word, you know, of what the elders promised in Rio Rancho. Yeah. You, you won't do nothing because you absolutely forget the illustration of the Good Samaritan. You remember the Good Samaritan? Jehovah's Witnesses in Rio Rancho? That man of the nations went out of his way, his own expense, to care for the needs of the Jew that fell among the robbers. A stranger. A stranger. And yet you people, even in this broadcast, will show that you will spend the money and the time and the care to help your own, but you do nothing to help a stranger. And in fact, you've even become worse than a man without faith. You really have, because your faith is being destroyed here in New Mexico because it's being exploited for who and what you people really are. You're not Christian at all. You're just a bunch of thugs, a bunch of bullies. And that's been clearly shown. Yeah. So do we have more of this guy we want to talk about or do we want to just leave it at this and, you know, give my heart a rest? It's up to you. It's your blood pressure. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's just say goodbye for now and uh, we'll attack this some other day. Yeah. Oh, before I forget, I just wanted to mention a few things real quick. Uh, Randy M. has just put up a video. Um, it talking about this New Mexico situation on his YouTube channel and I suggest everybody go watch it you know because yeah. Randy's really smart when it comes to legal things because he's had quite a few run-ins with Watchtower and I love his point because he says thanks to Watchtower fighting yeah. clear up to the Supreme Court of the United States to give every, everyone, not just them, but everyone the right to go onto private property to knock on their doors yeah. And with the law here in New Mexico, that unless it is posted, private property, no trespassing, and if you go on public, um, like a business or something like that, you know, even though the Kingdom Halls are owned by Watchtower, Tyler just got an invitation that morning to the memorial to that Kingdom Hall. So he has his invitation in hand saying, public welcome. So, you know... That alone tells you, and especially since they weren't doing any criminal damage, yeah. you know, and they weren't even up by the building. They were out in the parking lot. They had the invitation, and the Kingdom Hall was supposed to be empty at this time, and the gate was open. So we should say that the law in New Mexico is in the film crew's favor. You know, it may differ in your state but that's the way it is. And I also wanted to mention real quick that Randy um, is doing this show called Behind Closed Doors um, on Saturday afternoon, the six screens of Watchtower. And he has announced that he is going to be interviewing Tyler, half of the filming crew. And we know Tyler's a little shy, but we know he'll do a great job. So yeah, this, this is actually March 12th. Yes, it right. will be March 12th, which will be tomorrow. Yeah. Um, and it's about 3 o'clock in the afternoon our time, which is Mountain... Yeah, I, you'll have to figure that out yourself. Yeah. I don't know. But you'll see it. It's be called Behind Closed Doors, and Randy's going to be interviewing Tyler. So we look forward to listening to that. So we'll say goodbye, and you all have a great weekend. Mm, bye. Bye.